All right, so Scott found another really cool find at the Chelsea Ham Fest. So what's that gadget, man, that you picked up? Uh, it's a telegraph instructional machine. Uh-huh. Where was it made? Uh, Chicago. Instructogram uh, company out of Chicago. Very cool. So the guy made you a heck of a deal, and you said yeah. he used to use this for... Like teaching code? Teaching, right? yeah, Morse code, CW. Yep, and those boxes, they're um, tapes, right? Paper yep. tapes? Yep, these are the paper tapes that are on here. Yep, and there's two different types, right? Yep, so, Continental, which is our standard uh, CW, uh -huh. and then the uh, American, which is, uh, from what I know, is Railroad. Oh, cool. And you actually got the original manual mm -hmm. with it. Very cool. And Scott's got it set up right now. We're using the output of the telegraphy instructional machine into a ham keyer. So he can roll this thing, you guys can hear it play, and you can adjust the speed and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get closer up on the machine while he's running it. You guys can check it out. It's pretty cool. Slow that down a little bit. So this thing has no power source, right? It's just a crank, a crank, yeah. like an old Victrola yep. player. And then it's actually punched holes in the paper, which is the actual Morse code. So you can see the dits and the dots. And it obviously has an internal little relay that's clicking because we simply hooked the output of that like we would a standard Morse code key to the ham keyer box. Right. This would have had a headset, and then you would have tied a key into these other two. Hmm. Very cool find, man. Uh, slow it down even slower, or even stop it at that point too. So. So you do plan on using this for your general ticket because you do want to get a Morse code, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, what a great way it's to learn it, man. Very cool device, man. Yeah, it's a great training device. Yeah. So I hope everybody liked the demonstration of this telegraphy machine from what, maybe the 1940s, I would guess. Oh, maybe earlier than that. Is it? 